tendinopathy and thumb arthritis are quite common repetitive stress conditions. In this video, I'm going to show you some ways to help manage your tendinopathy or thumb arthritis so you can get back out there and keep doing the things you love. Repetitive strain injury, or RSI, is a broad term that can include tendinopathy and thumb arthritis. RSI refers to common overuse conditions involving the soft tissues and joints. It occurs as a result of repetitive exercise or movement which exceeds what that tissue is able to tolerate. As a result, the body responds with inflammation and pain. Supporting the thumb with a brace may help to reduce stress on the soft tissue structures in the area, which in turn can alleviate pain. The best time to use a brace is when pain is affecting your activity or exercise, but it shouldn't be used all the time or if you're not experiencing pain. The best thing to look for in a brace is one that's comfortable and provides support, but it shouldn't interfere with your exercise or activity. Stretching can often be painful and aggravate the soft tissue around the thumb. What may be more useful is gentle active mobility exercises. Strengthening can also be helpful by improving the tolerance of the soft tissue in your thumb and forearm which may allow you to do more activity and exercise without causing pain. Isometric grip squeezes may be helpful. You can do these holding a soft ball or a rolled up towel. Squeeze and hold for five seconds, then release. Do this five or six times, and you can do it a few times a day. So, to recap, if you're suffering from tendinopathy or thumb arthritis, with the guidance of your physiotherapist, the best way to get back out there is to focus on support, active mobility exercises and strengthening. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with friends who might need it so they can get back out there and enjoy what they love doing the most. Thanks for watching.